Hey guys, welcome to Realistic Crypto. I'm Mark and I'm back. So it's been a little while since I've created any content on YouTube. Um, life got in the way. So, you know, now we have got a little bit more free time, the plans to be back and to cover all sorts of content. Um, so yeah, I think it's great to be back. It's great to uh, start recording these videos again. And, you know, I really want to uh, help and support people who are uh, moving into this space to uh, simplify, automate and free up some time to go and make money elsewhere too. So I think with that said, what I wanted to cover in this video today is one of the things I have a real uh, problem with is back testing in TradingView. Now, I've got a bunch of other videos which takes you through uh, my end to end journey around this, but that's fine where you have a, a strategy that you can use some automated tools to run some back testing. But when you don't have a strategy and you have an indicator, those automated tools, they don't work. And what that means is that means that you have to sit there and cycle setting by setting with your arrow keys for hours and hours and hours. And guess what? You don't really want to be doing that. I don't want to be doing that. I want to um, I want to let the automated tools take the work out of all of that manual effort so I can go and focus on other things, you know, family, um, other crypto opportunities. So what I wanted to do right now is take you through on screen um, a way that you can take an indicator that you want to use to enter DCA deals and show you how you can merge the two. So actually you can use those automated assistants to find the perfect settings for you whilst you're doing something else. So let's jump straight into it. Um, as you can see on my screen, empty chart. Um, what I'm going to do for the purposes of this video is I'm going to use an indicator that I've already added a back testing flag into. It's a QFL indicator. And you will be able to see when I open the script, you'll be able to see that this is the line here that in effect allows me to plot a 100 as a back testing signal. Now, if I open Zendog, uh, this one here, what I can do, as you're all aware, is I can go in here, change to external indicator, choose the QFL backtesting plot, mark that as equal to 100, and there we go. We should start to see some deals. when I tick the backtesting compatible flag. So there we go, now we can see that this plot is plotting 100 every time, great. We all know this from previous videos. So what are you gonna tell me that's any different? Well, when I mentioned earlier in this video that I don't want to be the one that's sat there scrolling up and down through different settings, this is what I mean. So right now in here, in our inputs, we can change the base periods. We can change that to 10 um, and we can change the pump from base to one, one, and we're continuously getting different results, right? Um, not too shabby results, um, but we're continuously getting different results. Now, what I mean by manually clicking is I can sit here for hours and hours and hours and just scroll through these settings and see which ones give me a great return. But actually, I don't want to sit here for hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you very quickly how you can take this, incorporate it into Zendog, 
and then use the automated assistant in Zendog to find those settings for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy of everything in this indicator all the way up to the uh, indicator line. I'm going to open Zendog V3 and then what I'm going to do is create a working copy. I'm going to save that as Zendog V3 with uh, QFL and we'll call it YT. Sorry about this for this video. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to call that Zendog V3 with QFL YT. Okay, so now the short title which will display up here when I save it and add it to the chart will be Zendog V3 with QFL YT. We'll know it's different from the Zendog V3, V3 DCA. Um, now before we hit save, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a few line breaks here. I'm going to paste the code in here. There's a couple of things that I'm going to remove because we don't need them in the strategy. So I'm going to remove the back testing um, line. I'm going to remove the alert conditions. I don't need any alert conditions in here. Um, and then I'm also going to remove this back testing compatible box. It just means that there's one extra box that we don't need to do anything with. So that's the code. When we had the alert conditions, we were alerting on buy limit. That is the entry signal for these little buy flags here that you can see plotted on the chart. So what we want to do is we want to tell Zendog that if I select a deal start condition, which is QFL buy, I want you to look at buy limit to open one of those deals. So how do we do that? Well, if we scroll down here, what we can see is we can see that the deal start type, there's a string, the default value is RSI seven. Uh, it is the deal start type and here are the options. So these are the drop down options that you get in the drop down list. Well, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add another one and we're gonna call that Q uh, Q, QFL buy and then we've stolen the there you go good so we're going to add that in there and what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that out and then when we scroll down, what we've got is we've got all of these deal start conditions. What I want to do is I want to scroll down to line 128. I want to take a copy of what's there. And I want to paste that again in here. Now we need to drop this this back. Let's try that again. And what we want to say here is uh, QFL by. And then what we could do is we don't need these deal start operators in here. What we do want to say is we want to say, what's the deal start condition? If I select QFL buy, well, it's going to be buy. And we know that because that is the, uh, um, that's where we plot a shape for a buy flag in the indicator. Now that that's done, I'm going to hit save. And what you will see is you will see that the uh, the code will compile. Once that's compiled, we're going to add it to the chart and we're going to remove the old Zendog uh, V3 DCA. It does take a little while to compile. There we go. So that's done. So now let's add that to the chart. We should be able to see that we've got this now with QFL YT. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the old one. We're going to create a little bit of space on the chart. And now what you can see is you can see that we've got these settings in here, which replicate these settings in here. And now what you can also see is if we drop down this deal start type, we can choose QFL by. 
Now, in effect, what that's doing is that's telling Zendog to look at those buy um, options, uh, those buy um, signals, and open a deal based on that entry. Couldn't be any simpler, right? But now that we've done that, what we can do is we can actually come up and use the Trading View Assistant. I've talked about this in previous videos. Hit the Test Strategy button. And what that will do is that will run through all of the um, parameters in that script. As you can see, I tested these already. I use this quite regularly. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit a thousand cycles. I'm going to hit Save and Run. And guess what? I'm going to wait for this to do its thing. It will run through 1,000 combinations and it will tell me which is the most profitable combination. All whilst I'm away doing something else. Now, this is not just specific to this indicator. What you will find is with any indicator that has a buy or a sell condition, they will be um, defined within the strategy. And if you can identify which line of code has the buy or sell condition, you can take that indicator, that full indicator, paste it into Zendog, change that deal start type, and you can effectively backtest it um, in an automated way whilst you get to do something else. So it really is as simple as that. Um, I'm not going to leave this to run. I'm going to hit the stop button right now. But as you can see, through the four, 14 optimizations it did, it's found there at 0.48%. I can then go back, replicate this within my indicator. And once I've replicated the settings, I can hit the button, add an alert, drop this down, find a buy condition, ones per bar close, paste in my three commas, my czar, Ganium, Wick Hunter, um, message, paste in the webhook URL, hit the create button, and there we go. Our bot is now trading based on um, the back test results that you found in Zendog V3. Now, if you don't want to go through this process with the QFL indicator, and a Zendog V3 strategy, then I will be leaving a copy of the Pine script of the code itself in the Realistic Crypto Discord server. You can find a link to that in the description below. That's it for this video. Thank you very much, and I'll be back. Bye bye.